What is going on guys? This is Music Major. Today is a very, very big day. Or should I say yesterday? Yesterday was the release of the Ooh. Xbox One. Now I've been personally very excited to see what this system was going to have in store for us. And it didn't disappoint. From what I've heard, uh, mainly because I personally did not see the press conference, but I've done plenty of research and I've had many people that did see it and I got their information. This is the comprehensive all you need to know video on Xbox One. So let's dive right into it. it uh, it's not called the 720. It's not called Xbox 3. Uh, not Xbox Loop, not Xbox Infinity, but rather it's simply Xbox One. I like the name. After uh, seeing everything that was presented, I believe that this name is very adequate because it brings everything full circle. It's the all-in-one entertainment package that one could possibly want. I'm getting goosebumps talking about it already, but let's dive into the nuts and bolts of it. What this system is going to consist of uh, is an 8-core CPU and 8-gig system memory that's in there with a 500-gigabyte hard drive on there, a Blu-ray drive as well. It's going to be compatible with 802.11N wireless with Wi-Fi direct connection to it as well. HDMI in and out and a USB 3.0 connection. That's pretty stellar. <laughs> um, I don't believe it mentioned the RAM that's in there, but uh, 8 gigs of RAM in there, which is obscene for a system. I think the current generation Xbox 360, if I'm not mistaken, runs off of about 512 megabytes. Now, the controller has changed up a little bit too. It's got an integrated battery component, uh, impulse triggers, a Wi-Fi direct radio stack, and a precision directional pad, which I didn't really dive into the nuts and bolts of this one. Uh, I assume that means it's one of those that flips, you know, so you can get a little more control on it, uh, or it flips down so it can be one of those flat ones. Now, I have saw many of the YouTubers basically, uh, tweeting and loving this system. Uh, as I've seen, I've now watched the press conference, and needless to say, I'm about to dive into a game of NHL 13, and I'm a little sad because I'm sure it will not look all that very good. But Microsoft, basically, during the duration of this press conference, has confirmed that Xbox One will ship worldwide by the end of this year. That's huge news because Sony has yet to confirm whether it will launch the PS4 in territories other than the US, U.S. and Japan before 2014. With the emergence of E3 coming up in June, I think we will find a little bit more out about that. But, uh, the system looks very robust under the hood, what they're running. The graphics card is just obscene. This system must be capable, if you think about it, of producing 1080p at about 38, 30 frames per second. And it may be, you know, we'll be able to do 3D, I think is what I heard. I don't know. Unfortunately, backwards compatibility has taken a hit with the new design into the console and that x86 chip that was built in. Uh, the days of your backwards compatible Xbox 360 discs are now gone. Uh, I hope you liked them. Keep your 360 if you want. Don't trade it. Don't trade it in. Um, let's see. What else did it? What else am I going through my notes here? We have pulled forward. No okay, I covered that. UAV. Uh, the controller's redone, reboosted here. Um, storage and Blu-ray, we've hit that uh, a little bit there. This is a hot topic that I'm about to cover here. The use game thing, and nobody really knows the method of the madness that's going on with this thing. Um, according to Wired.com, Games will be installed to the console, so the game no longer needs the disc. But in so, it will lock the game to a specific console. That part's true from what I've heard. Now, they're saying that it's going to have digital watermarks on there for the specific one-time use code. Um, I've heard a little bit about the always-on internet connection. Now I've heard it might not be required. Um, also, too... 
Where is my other notes? I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of going through this as, it, as it's going on. They may do used games, but you might have to pay a little bit more to do that, if that makes sense. So, you walk into GameStop, you say, hey, give me Madden 25 for the Xbox One. Done. You're going to pay forty-four ninety-nine. And potentially a five dollar charge to recoup for the manufacturer, from what I've understood, to recoup some of that lost revenue that they're getting on that. So you're going to be paying fifty four ninety nine for a game that should be forty nine ninety nine. Do I like this? No. <laughs> um, but it is the way it is. Hopefully they tweak it up a little bit. If you're an iPhone user, you might be in absolute love right now. Because apparently you can use Siri uh, to recognize questions, and gamers can get quick response, give quick replies over Xbox Live. Uh, the Kinect sensor is also uh, taking a nice improvement. Skype is built into it. Smart Glass is seeing a bit of a beefed-up version. Uh, it's going to work very closely with Windows Phone 8 and uh, iOS and Android devices. Uh, let's see here. We're still we're still kind of waiting for the first killer app to show us what the system is capable of. Um, but the aluminum room. Oh, this one is actually kind of what got my pants off during the uh, during the press conference. But uh, it's a concept in the YouTube video that you can see on YouTube if you go in there and just type that in. It's showing what the next generation could be capable of, kind of using a projector to send effects around the room, giving you kind of more of that in-depth feeling. Let's talk price point, because nobody knows what that's going to be yet. Uh, rumors in the industry right now are tagging this thing at $299 in the U.S. I find that actually ridiculously kind of low. Um, I would be okay if I'm a customer, which I am, because I will probably be getting this thing. Uh, I'm okay with paying $499 right off the bat. It's a nice system... Um, you get, you're getting everything. I think, though, realistically, it will ship for probably about $400, which is about 100 of what I'm saying, but it's, uh, we'll see, we'll see. But parting conclusions here, guys. If I'm Sony, uh, frankly, I'm shitting the bed right now because I don't know what to think, uh, mainly because... Xbox did everything right. They showed systems, they showed gameplay, they showed what the hardware looked like, in my opinion. That's everything you needed to do. When PS3 did their reveal back in March, a February, I don't know. I think it was February 20th, I don't freaking remember. We have succeeded. I, the biggest knock I had on them was they did not show you hardware. And I didn't like that all that much. <laughs> but, we'll see. Uh... Keep an eye out for E3 in June. We'll find out more information on that. My name's Music Major, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share it. I will talk to you later.